Andy Millette joins us from the Canadian Coast Guard and tell us about uh, what we went and saw and the purpose behind it. Yes, we did a patrol of, of the St. Clair River uh, to see what has happened to the ice since the last helicopter patrol. The amount of ice that, that it streamed down into the St. Clair River in the past two weeks is a, just a phenomenal amount of ice. It all got piled up on the southern end of the uh, St. Clair River, but over time, and with the warm weather we've had here recently, the uh, ice has been able to, uh, to flow into Lake St. Clair and uh, basically disappear. So it is, uh, there is still a tough area in the bottom end of the river, basically Moraine City down to Lake St. Clair, where it is still tough going. But we've, been, we've been managed to get all the traffic moving that needs to move, and we're continuing to do so today with, uh, uh, as we saw today, um, one Canadian icebreaker, the Griffin, was in the Detroit River uh, system shipping. And there's two uh, U.S. Coast Guard cutters on the St. Clair River, uh, again, helping uh, the, the ships that you saw there today. And so the information that you gathered today will go to help these uh, ships maneuver through the waterways? Absolutely that, and to have a better idea what's going to happen with the ice. As you saw, the uh, ice that was north of uh, the Blue Water Bridge has now basically disappeared. The southerly winds have moved it off shore and further up on the Canadian side of uh, Lake Huron. But basically it's out of the way of the river. So we've got a very good opportunity here to flush the rest of the ice that's down there into Lake St. Clair and basically out of the river system. So we have an opportunity here and we're hoping that uh, we can capitalize on it and do two things. One, keep traffic moving at the same time, manage the ice. And uh, as we saw, the ice in Lake St. Clair is quite thick and um, won't be changing for uh, for a while. No, no, it's, it's, it's there to stay. But as we saw on the southern end of the lake, it was starting to break off and feed into the Detroit River. So we did see uh, quite a bit of the, the, the ice on the southern end of the lake uh, broken up and in the river system. So but this doesn't appear to be impeding the traffic at this time. Explain to me the regular traffic that is trying to maneuver through the St. Clair River up to Lake Huron on an almost daily basis. Well, right up until tomorrow, it's the regular shipping season for commercial traffic. But tomorrow is the closure of the Sault Ste. Marie locks, and what that does is it, uh, uh, the shipping industry, the majority of the shipping industry goes to sleep for the winter. So basically they, they go to a port and wait wait out till the spring, until the Sioux locks open up again. After that, we still have regular tanker traffic through Lake Erie and uh, basically between Lake Erie and Michigan, we still have traffic. We'll have a regular tanker run basically from Nanticoke to Sarnia, sometimes Sarnia to Sault Ste. Marie. We have uh, asphalt barge, a tug and barge that makes regular runs through uh, from Sarnia down to Windsor. And we've also got the salt trade. We've got uh, salt being shipped out of Goderich to wherever port needs the salt. So from your observation today, I guess, what's the status that you have to report? Well, right now things are, are looking good. The, uh, the river is looking good. Uh, the traffic is moving. So not much more you can ask for. You mentioned that all of this is compiled um, to help kind of get a feel for what the ice is doing. That's right. We, we, we need to know what is happening to the ice. We're fortunate enough that this warm spell got rid of a lot of ice in Lake Huron, north of the Blue Water Bridge. Thankfully, that ice has moved off. We don't appear to be in a situation where we're going to have an influx of ice anytime soon. But Mother Nature will deal that card and we'll just have to wait and see. Thank you for the trip today.